This particular video is about the scientific corruption that you as the public must realize. I'm going to present the information to you and let you decide whether it constitutes corruption or not. You be the ultimate judge. This was orchestrated. We have the scientific evidence from 2015 showing that the research was done, the gain of function components were done by the scientists in North Carolina that then went back to Wuhan. The US government and the Chinese government paid Dr. Xi to fund research in. There's an underlying implication here that's very subtle, but the only possible reason for this modification is the creation of. There are no other plausible explanations. Now that sounds a little far-fetched, I agree, but wait, you're gonna understand. Because when you start understanding this furin cleavage component that we're talking about, then it starts to make a little bit of sense. But why would somebody do that? Or how can we prove that somebody actually did that? So we're gonna talk about that. Now this was actually created at the University of North Carolina in Chapel Hill, and they published the highlights of the creation in November 2015. In 2014, Dr. Xi was the recipient of a number of U.S. government grants as well as grants from the National Basics Research Program of China, the Chinese Academy of Science, the National Natural Science Foundation of China, and from the Strategic Priority Research Program of Chinese Academy of Sciences to assist in funding research into... Now, this is, remember, 2015. So they took SARS, the virus that caused SARS in 2002-2003, and they, that was carried by bats, making the rounds back in 2003 and reverse engineered the genetic coding itself inside the virus. And they took the backbone of the original wild type virus and that's when they started messing around with it. They then inserted additional proteins to enhance the efficacy of the virus inside the human lungs, specifically inside the, for, the, for the human aspect, making it extremely extremely difficult to vaccinate against because a new has multiple proteins with which to attack. So basically what they did was they made a bug a into a soup virus. Let's hold off, let's not panic because what I want to show here is how the scientific community that knew about this and yet they're sitting here making stuff. Why are they making this? Why are they doing gain of function? Why is University of North Carolina involved with this? Why, why are we funding? Why is the U.S. government funding this research on something that we thought had already disappeared? Why are they trying to get gain of function? You know, some people say, well, they were just experimenting, they were doing whatever, but they were actual other scientists that opposed this information. They did not want this, these studies to be done because they were afraid of a breakout. They were afraid of what the ramification would be if there was an outbreak, if the was not contained. So this was not something that was just was obscure. There were some very well-known people that were against this. What would be the purpose of doing such a thing? Well, it'll become self-evident here in a few moments. This is going on from 2003 to 2015 now. They were looking at the SARS component from 2003, the, the caused SARS, and they were now manipulating that. And they published this manipulation study after they manipulated it, they published it in this 2015 paper and they created this hybrid which is far more deadly and can't be vaccinated against. It is resistant to vaccination because of certain morphological changes that were created to the wild type backbone. The new DNA genetically engineered constitutes a gain in pathogenesis. Now I want you to remember what gain in pathogenesis means, okay? Or gain of function is the term that they use in virology or actually in, in research. So gain of function. Okay, here it is. That's a gain of function right there. They admit it. Gain of function basically means taking something and making it more potent. All right. So pathogenesis means lethalness and the infectiousness of something. The pathogenesis is the cause of the actual problem, cause of the disease. And Dr. Shi learns how to perform gain of function operations within viruses. And then she returns to her post in Wuhan, China. So she learned this in University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill. They get the cells from Fort Detrick and now she goes back to Wuhan, which is where the techniques that she learned about gain of function were then applied. Fast forward to November 2019, a breach of containment occurs at the Wuhan Institute of Virology and patient zero is detected somewhere between December 1st and December 12th. Dr. Shi is one of the authors that published this paper in January 23rd, 2020 saying that 
stating that it is of probable bat origin. The problem is she knows what it is and what the origin is because she was the one who created it. Okay, she helped to enhance it. She this is an enhanced version of the hybrid that they helped develop at UNC with Fort Detrick support back in 2015. Why would you take any kind of organism and make it more potent? Why would you take a bug, a bacteria, and make it more potent, right? What's the purpose of that? Well, they say it's for research purposes, but why would you do research to make something more potent? Why wouldn't you do research to make something that's not that bad anyway, less damaging, but they're making it more potent. They're doing gain of function studies. This is a gain of function study on, this is what created it. This is a gain of function study that was done on a specific strain of called the SHC014 strain. Scientific review panels may deem similar studies building chimeric based on circulating strains too risky to pursue. Yeah, no, it's just amazing to me that this has been happening. Studies testing hybrid in human cell cultures and animal models are limited in what they can say about the proposed by wild Dasek says, agrees, but he argues that they can help indicate which pathogens should be prioritized for fear, further research attention. Now that's the most absurd statement because they're saying, okay, it should be limited, but you know what? It can help us to prioritize further research. So we need to make these superbugs so then we can then warrant our research to go and look at these superbugs and how they affect the human system. How about doing something even a little bit more effective and not create the damn superbug in the first place? Like you really need to create a superbug and then try to see how it should be prioritized, you know, so they can help indicate which pathogens should be prioritized for further research. I mean, that's the most absurd thing to say. We're going to take a bunch of different and then we're going to see which ones we can create the, the most potent chimeric changes to. And then once we create this chimera, then we'll go ahead and it'll warrant our priority to which we should really work on focusing on well don't create these super bugs in the first damn place and you won't have to worry about which one you need to prioritize bobby kennedy said that there were three your local honda dealer wants you to be safe and right now you need a car you can count on and your dealer to go the extra mile that's why our dealerships are open and committed to working with you to make servicing buying or shopping for a honda convenient for you to help you stay safe with a reliable car that's ready to go when you need it. For questions about sales, service, or more, see your local Honda dealer today. Countries that are naturally hostile to each other, which is China, Taiwan, and Japan, and all three of them independently concluded that it originated in the United States. Yes, they did. I just showed you the evidence of that. Now, Trump reportedly growing frustrated with Dr. Fauci's blunt approach. Hmm, I wonder why. Because Trump knows certain things. He knows what's happening here based upon, you can see his cavalier approach. But essentially, he's the one who's out there saying, whipping up the story about the China bats. The government in the United States and China funded it. And then this Dr. Xi went back to Wuhan. And then, of course, it got released or there was an outbreak in Wuhan. But where did it all start? It started here in the United States, in North Carolina. So here's something that was posted today, just a couple hours ago, from a TV station, I believe KSAT, breaking news, first team related reported in San Antonio. Now here's the kicker. This is the family member, Ashley Zara Farrell, off that person. It says KSAT12 and KSAT.com. I must say I'm highly disappointed at your lack of facts. My grandmother did not pass away at San Antonio MMC she passed away at a local inpatient hospice facility. Remember, hospice is for people that are terminal, that are going. She did not pass away from COVID-19. She passed away from Alzheimer's that she had had suffered from for the past 12 years and a case of aspiration pneumonia that worsened her ailing state. Shame on you, KSAT. Again, the media is hyping this crap and scaring people. They're not reporting the facts. They're not reporting the truth. They're lying. Now. There's a lot of people talking about the misinformation and then saying it's misinformation, it's controversial, but they're not really looking at the science. I want you to remember that this is not the first time this has happened. This was Lyme's disease in the 1990s, SARS in 2002, XMRV in 2009, MERS in 2012, Ebola in 2014, 
and Zken 2016, actually H1N1 2010. I just want people to know that the agenda is highly, highly suspect. Be aware, don't be paralyzed by fear because this is part and parcel of their agenda. All right, there's seven toxicities according to my philosophy and they have hit six of the seven toxicities. The fifth toxicity being emotional, psychological, that's what they've done with this hype by creating the hype, by creating the fear mongering that is affecting people on an emotional, psychological level. I know this was a long video. I hope you understand the significance of this. Pay it forward, pass it on, let people know the truth.